Bienvenidos, bienvenidos a todos a, los, a la iglesia de los dos comienzos. Amen. Aleluya. So praise God. Uh, the Bible says, This is the day the Lord has made and we shall be. We will rejoice. We will rejoice. Yes. And be glad in it. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. Uh, I just wanted to welcome you and I want you to be ready to receive because God has something for you. Amen. Amen. We always. I won't be bringing you to work today, but my friend is. And his name is Bernard. We're hosting uh, Bernard and his wife, lovely wife, uh, Pam, this week or this month, as long as they want to stay. And uh, they were supposed to speak last month, uh, July. No, excuse me. Yeah, July, when we celebrated our fifth year anniversary. But I'm glad they're here, and he's going to come. He's going to bring the word. So listen. Prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Yeah. The man mm -hmm. is highly anointed of God. Amen. So you just got to be ready to inc be encouraged, yes. be changed, and allow the word to change us. Amen. Amen. So, hallelujah. Without no delays, I want to introduce you to my friend, my faithful friend, <laughs> Bernard Dreyer. Come on up, my yeah. friend. Good morning, good morning, uh, people from Marfa, from uh, Alpine, from uh, Fort Davis, from Valentine, from Marathon, from Big Band, <laughs> and uh, all the people who are watching using internet, who are streaming. We said you welcome. We know we have you have some people watching from. Canada, from U.S., uh, various places. Yes. Okay. Amen. Okay. Now, a few months ago, the Lord told me to uh, explain the word of New Beginning Church of the Big Bang. And I said, uh, uh, Lord, uh, you are out of your mind. What am I going to say about six words? You know, you could go in any dictionary and uh, find what, what it is. So uh, I decided to explain word by word. So I, I hope you won't be bored. And uh, we have to know what all the world of New Beginning Church of the Big Bang uh, means. So in order to do it, I decided to check in the dictionary. Imagine, that's uh, really... Uh, something important, dictionary. And uh, that's on the next slide. Uh, I guess we have a technical challenge. Yeah, there's a chatter on the mouse here. Okay, so I could be explained word by word, and he said, now you could go to the next slide. Okay, what does it mean? And I will explain to you what does it mean. So, first, we will check every word in the dictionary, and <laughs> in a few minutes I will explain you why. We will also explain from the Bible, and uh, I have used, uh, uh, you know, I am a heretic, I am using the New King James. Uh, I, I don't speak Shakespeare yet. So, I have, you know, so okay. Uh, why I am doing that? I will give you an illustration. Uh, in uh, Philippians 4.5, they said, let your motivation be known of all men. Okay, well, that's interesting. But motivation in that case doesn't mean to drink less. You know, to do drinking in moderation. It means to be gentle, gracious, and to be kind. Amen. So we have to be careful what we read sometime in, uh, in the Bible, which was translated few centuries ago when words were meaning something else. That's one example. Uh, another example from Ephesians. In Ephesians we, we read armor of God, you know, protected by the armor of God. Yeah. So I walk the street here, I am following you in the street, and I have not seen any of you with a big middle-aged armor. <laughs> <laughs> no? Amen. Okay. So, the word armor of God means something else. Means really the protection we receive 
from God. Yeah, the yeah, protection yeah. which is around us. Mm -hmm. So it's not a physical armor. So just to give you why we are studying uh, the world uh, from the dictionary and from the Bible. So now what we will check also how these words, you know, these simple words from the name of the church, how do they apply to you? So you see you are joyful. Huh? I see I see all of you there on the screen. <laughs> and what I'm going to say uh, apply to you. Okay. Now we will start word by word. Now the first one is new. New beginning. Okay. What does it mean in the dictionary? Okay. New beginning in the dictionary means having recently come into existence. Well, it's not an old church, it's a recent church. Uh, repetition of previous act of sins. Well, your church has moved physically from place to place. It's new. It's still new. Um, and the word uh, new apply, uh, is uh, happened in the Bible 173 times in 154 verses. And I selected that one as a sample in uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, is a new creation, mm -hmm. all things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. Now, in, in, uh, in Greek, it means Kairos, Kairos. Uh, uh, recently made, fresh, recent, unused, unworn. Mm. Okay? So, how does that apply to you? First thing, when you are a new creation in Christ, don't look at the past. Because that's what most of the people do. Was say, oh, I had a miserable life. Uh, I was a bad person, etc. Don't look at the past. You know, just go like that and turn and look at the future. Yeah, same, yeah. Okay? Look at the future, you know, and it covers the whole world, not only your small environment. Look everywhere. Amen. Okay? So don't look at the past, look at the future. Very important. Now, we go to beginnings. Okay. Uh, you, you realize here, beginnings is plural. Okay? Yeah. It's a stage or early period. Normally in plural. Okay? The point at which something starts or the first part. Okay, that's a worldly definition. Now we are looking at the Bible definition. And uh, it happened only three times in three verses. Okay? Yeah, not much. And I took an example from Ezekiel 36, 11. We will uh, explain. I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bear young. I will make you inhabited as, of, as in former time, and do better for you than at your beginnings. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Mm. Okay, now, what we have seen before, we, we talk about new creation, being born again, beginnings, it's all tied together. Now, in Hebrew, it's Risha, beginning of time or early time. Now, as far as we are concerned, it's the beginning of the early time of our salvation. It's the early time of when we are be born, uh, born again. Okay, now the word beginning in singular is more frequent in the Bible. It applies about uh, Hundred and five times in a number of verses. Now, how does that apply to you? Okay? Now, you, you see that you are born again. You are a new creation. Okay? It, you are new, but it doesn't mean you are perfect. Only Jesus is perfect. Okay? And you have a beginning, a beginning of your walk with God. And you go along, and oh my God, you fail. It happened to everybody. Yes. You, know, you fail. Or you are faced with a circumstance you don't like. For example, you are caught in a hurricane or in a flood. You fail. So what do you do at that point? You 
go back to the old person. I would say an old man because it's for men and women also. Mm -hmm. so I would say to, yeah. to go back to the old person. And now you start again. So you have a new beginning. Yes. Okay? Yeah. You, you built on a disaster or your disaster. And you said, that's the past, as I said before. Don't look at the past. Look at the future again. And you start again. Oh, my God, you fail again. Mm. You, know. Uh, you know, you are not as perfect as I am. I never fail. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, I have failed a number of times. And some people may fail 20 times. Some people will fail twice. Some people, some people only once. And some people never fail. But anyway, you have to persevere. You have to keep going. Yeah. Okay? And never let a failure stop you. Amen. That's, that's the key. If it's one failure, two failures, three failures. And you will end up by suddenly you achieve success. Mm -hmm. But after success, you could still have some failure. Mm -hmm. But you start again, a new beginning. So, that's why we have beginnings plural, mm -hmm. okay? which is yeah. important because yes, you may yes. have more than one beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we will look at the last, uh, <coughs> uh, at the next uh, term. Church. What? What is a church? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Is it a building? It is you. It is more than you. Okay. We see from uh, the dictionary. It's a body of organization of religious believers, such as the whole body of Christ. Okay, but it's also a building for public and Christian worship. So you see, it could be people and it could be a building. Now, we have the tendency of seeing the church as a building. Okay? The church is much bigger than that building. Okay? Look, look at the It's much bigger than Marfa. It's a whole world. All the Christians which are, will make the body of Christ are the church. Okay? Amen. Amen. So that's a, a, an important factor. Now, the term appears 74 times uh, yeah, in the New Testament. The Old Testament doesn't talk about church. They have right. temples, they have buildings, synagogues, whatever. But the term church, it's a New Testament. Because yes. remember, the Old Testament is only some example for us, but we live in the New Testament. We are New Testament people. Amen. We are people from the church. <coughs> and uh, we give you an example from Acts 14, 27. Now, when they had come and gathered the church together, they reported all that God has done with them, yes. and that he had opened the door of faith to the Gentile. Uh -huh. What does it mean? Huh. Okay? It means the church, us, the born again, the new creation, what we have to do is to reach to the Gentile. Yes. Okay? They said the verse said, open the door to the Gentile, mm -hmm. wherever and whoever they are. Yes. And that's very important. Uh, Ecclesia, that's I am speaking Greek now. Ecclesia. <laughs> mean those who anywhere in a city, village, constitute such a company and are united into one body. Okay, it's a body of, of, uh, of the believer. The, the whole body of Christians scattered through the earth. Okay? So, uh, on the next slide, I guess we have an illustration of the church. Now, uh, you see that magnificent church I drawn over there. <laughs> okay. The small with uh, the parents and two children. Okay, that's a small church. Okay, but that's good. That's good. But it's a it's a beginning. It's a start. And now we have a, a bigger church, uh, which here. Okay, the new beginning, beginnings, Church of the Big Bang. So you recognize it's Marfa because you, <laughs> you, you realize yeah, yeah. it's a tower. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, uh, what what else? and and the Big Bang is a it's a picture I took one day 
when we were uh, traveling on the Big Bang, and that's why the Rio Grande is curving. So yeah. now, these people who were in the good church, tiny church, all together yeah. now, they are going somewhere, you know, they are joyful, you see? They are jumping, and they are doing something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we see what is the something else they are doing. Aha, guess what? It's big, better. Okay, you see, the church as the, little, the local church as the foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay, but as member of the church, you have to reach family, community, friends, business. Okay, now. What do we mean by that? Do, do we mean you have to go with a two by four and say, please accept Jesus as your own and say, no, that's no. useless. That yeah. won't go anywhere. That's right. Okay? <laughs> you have to go to the wall there with your attitude. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm with, with, it, brother. with the way, that, you know, God has to, or Jesus has to show from you, from yeah. your inside. Come on. And so, what you want, basically, is these people there, the community, the business, the friend, to change their attitude, mm -hmm. you know, to be, to be moral people, to be God-like people. Yeah. And eventually, they may accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior without having nothing to do, mm -hmm. because they look at your example, they see what you are doing. But one thing which is, we have to remember there, because I put on purpose business, you cannot make a business Christian. That's right. That's you know, right. A, a Christian is a legal entity. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so you don't make the, the, uh, the business Christian. But the business could be run by people who are becoming Christian. Yes, yes. that's okay. right. Example: Some people say now. Some people will kill me if I say that, but I will survive. <laughs> uh, some some people say. Uh, the USA, we are a Christian nation. That's not true. Because I have, ne I have never seen a constitution being Christian or a piece of paper being Christian. Right. Okay. Right. What we know is that the majority of the people living in the US are Christian. But it doesn't mean it's a Christian nation. That's right. So to understand that, you have to take your Bible go to the Old Testament mm -hmm. and see what they mean as a nation. Mm -hmm. now, I, have, I have no time to explain that to you. You will go yourself. You know, that's <laughs> a, an exercise for next time. And so, I know, I know. You, you, you will say, okay, I don't want to see you for another year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, that, that's okay. That's okay. But, okay. But we are Christian. Uh, we are a nation populated by Christians, the yes. vast majority of yes. men are Christian. Okay, now we will see what big means. So you know, you know, big, big, big. Uh, in the dictionary, large, large dimension, bulky, uh, large in quantity, in number, outstanding, worthy, of great importance, of great significance. That's the meaning of big. big. No. Is big in the in the Bible? Well, it is. Yeah. It is. So, but the big problem, uh, it's not in the King James. Mm. It's on on the NIV only. Right. Okay, that's a translation. Amen. But in uh, Mark four thirty two, it says, "Yet we planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants with such big branches." that the bird, birds can perch on its shape. Okay. When you look at that, uh, we'll explain on the next slide, but later, what is the meaning of big branches? Mm -hmm. okay. If you take a church and you are growing branches, it could be each individual, there you are branches, mm -hmm. and these branches will flourish, mm -hmm. and the bird will like it, and the people will like it, it's a symbol of the people wanting to flock to what mm -hmm. you produce. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, now it's a Greek word, I guess it's uh, pias, 
Okay. A thing to be highly estimate, uh, estimated for excellence. Okay, now you see, when you talk about big for the church, okay, it's not really always the size, it's how the church is estimated. Mm. Okay, now, uh, how does that apply to us? Okay, so as a church, if we are big in Marfa, okay, and it grows as a, as a tree. Yeah, I use the symbol of a tree, okay, with the branches where the birds can go. That's big in Marfa. But that's not enough. If you stay there, you know, you, you will be nothing. You don't mark, you, uh, you, you, you don't impact the world. Okay? So the next step is bigger. Okay? So as you see, you are still very joyful doing it. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing like that, Lord, I want to expand the church. Oh, but you know, it's difficult, and I am too old. Oh, you know, and uh, I, uh, I don't want to. No, 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 you have to be joyful. So, as we see in the slide before, Martha. Oh, okay. Marf, uh, friends, business, etc. And each leaf. Is you. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? And you see, each leaf is growing and produce new leaves. Mm -hmm. That's the way you reach people. Mm -hmm. And they will be on your account. But that's bigger, but that's not big enough. Mm -hmm. We have to do better mm -hmm. at a church. And how do we do better? Uh, yeah! We reach our <laughs> time. We reach the world. Okay? Mm -hmm. And this leaf will multiply. Now, don't tell me it's impossible. Mm -hmm. It is possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you have faith, enough faith, mm -hmm. and you follow the teaching of your pastors, and if you read the Bible, you will be able to achieve it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't say it will happen in two days. Yeah. It may take years. Yeah. It may take only months. We don't know because I will tell you one thing. Some people are, are listening on the internet from your website to your previous messages. Mm -hmm. And we have found some people listening to it from Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. I guess yesterday we found somebody from another country, I don't remember where, in the US. So you already do it without knowing it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So, at, at the end, I will tell you what you have to help reach more people worldwide, what you have to do. I will explain to you uh, simply. Okay. Now we will go to bend. Now, bend means to force from a shape, to direct, strangely, to make submissive, to force back to a, an original straight or even condition. Now, when you say a uh, big bend, uh, in the dictionary, bend is a word, it's a verb, it's not a word. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't mean the, what they call the large curva in Spanish? <laughs> but uh, it happened in also uh, in, in the Bible, it's mentioned a couple of times. And I took the example of. Uh, Psalm 1834. Okay. It teaches my hand to make war uh -huh. so that my arm can bend a, a bow of bronze and me, means to be broken. So uh, the way it will apply to us is different. Now, look at these two verses there okay, from uh, James. James 3 4. Look also at ships. Although they are so large and are driven by fierce wind, mm -hmm. they are turned by a small rudder, yes. wherever the pilot desires. Mm -hmm. okay. And the James 3.5, five. Five. even if the, song, uh, if the tongue is a little member and most great thing, see how great a forest a little fire can yeah. yeah. So let's say you are on a lake and a boat and you want to reach the goal, which is there. But to say, okay, I go and uh, 
I don't care what happened, and uh, I am doing bad things, but uh, I don't change my attitude. You know, but you have to remember that this boat, oh my goodness, you crash because because you turn too late, you crash. The reason is, you it's a, it called inertia. A boat has a big inertia. Even if you start at the last minute to turn, the boat will not turn, and you crash. So. You have to do it ahead of time before it's too late. Right. Right. Okay. So don't wait. You are in the pit mm. to turn. Try when you see the pit, but you are not in it. Right. Mm. Okay. And, and and try to turn. So um, I guess on the next uh, slide it will be more successful. <laughs> okay. Now I, I go to uh, James three six. The tongue is a fire, a war oh, of iniquity, and we see before we crash. But now I read James 3 13 this morning. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his work are done in the meekness of wisdom. Mm -hmm. So there you turn around before you crash, uh, and you see that you don't even hit the shore, but you reach you go yeah. and you get the victory. But yeah. you have to do it on time because here we turn here. Mm -hmm. But if you are waited as here to start turning, as it was on the previous slide, mm -hmm. you go in flame. Yeah. You know, and it's important. Mm -hmm. And now you and now you, you, you have the victory. Okay. Now that's all the world. So the church has uh, some motto which are important, maybe you never read them, but they are on the website. And they said, okay, you, you could see it by, uh, in the order, honor God, all you, honor God. Love family. Mm -hmm. No, it's more than your uh, physical family, your, uh, your kids. Yeah. It's us, we are family. Yeah. Okay, right. love family. Mm -hmm. Serve others. Mm -hmm. Okay. That what we have this fellowship is full of food. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so bad. But serve other, let's say. Uh, if you want uh, your swimming pool to be moved or your trampoline, okay, somebody from the church will help you doing it. Yeah. You don't know what, who I am talking about. <laughs> or, or the last time we came, our, uh, the battery of our car gave the ghost. In fact, we shouldn't use that term. The battery <laughs> died. Okay. And uh, what was important with this battery dying that the first thing Pastor Rosé did, he brought me to Napa or, or whatever. Napa. Yeah. And they didn't have my battery size and nothing. He brought me to Alpine. Okay. And we installed the battery, and we installed everything. So, you see, that's serving others. It means serving, means also helping yes. others. Yes, amen. Okay. The other thing is, which is pursue excellence. Uh -huh. Now, we give you an example of pursue excellence. Uh, I came yesterday here, and uh, the chairs has to be installed. And to make sure we have uh, excellence, they have to be spaced equally. And Pastor Jose came with a ruler. Oh. <laughs> and he was measuring the space between each oh, his chair. And I said, that's wonderful. It's useless, but wonderful. <laughs> it means excellence. And it is excellent. So everything you do, <laughs> You do it in excellence. You know, it, 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 if you bake a cake at home, you will do it in excellence. Uh -huh. okay? yes. You won't make crap. No. I cannot use that word. But anyway. uh, you will do it in excellence. Yeah. So, so why what you do for your personal life, you do it in excellence, uh -huh. and not for your friends, and not for your church family. You have to do it in, in excellence. Yes. Uh, you know. For example, if, uh, if one of your uh, church members they had a flat tie, 
and uh, you will say that, uh, well, that's fine, and we look at it and pray. No. <laughs> that's not excellence. The person needs a new tire. Yes. You know, not, not prayer. The prayer will come later. Yeah. <laughs> but first, you have to fix the tire yeah. and pump the Holy Spirit in the tire, the wind of the Spirit inside the tire. <laughs> Okay, now, <laughs> the, the church has a vision. Okay. Ah, uh, the slide is truncated by technology, but it's okay. The vision of the church is to reach every man, every woman, and child with the love and compassion of Christ. Okay. That's it. Something which is included in the title of the church and all this world has explained to you are bringing you to that state where you have to fulfill the vision of the church. Now, one thing I have to uh, remind you is the vision of the church is not only the vision of the pastor. Okay, That would be too simple. The vision of the church is for all of you. You, you have to embrace, uh, embrace that vision, all of you. All right. Now, the mission of the church. The mission is to reach the English and French speaking people. No. Oh, oh, oh. It's a church. I misread, I misread. The Spanish speaking people. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay. The mission. And you see, the, the term mission is attached to mission field, mm -hmm. okay. to reach English and Spanish. Mm -hmm. English, yeah, it's and not... English, and yeah. <laughs> English is not too complicated. No. Spanish is more complicated. Yeah. And I celebrate you to doing it. Yes. Okay. Because it's hard, it's difficult, it's not your land, it's not your language. But you do it because you know you have a mission. So if we are incapable of doing it, such as me, I don't speak a word, no habla español. Okay? So in, in, uh, the only thing I know in Spanish is when I need food, they say, pollo asado. <laughs> Everybody understands. No habla español. And you know, for me, it will be difficult to do. But, and I, I am living far away. But for you, being at the border is essential. And now you could reach the Spanish-speaking the Spanish mm -hmm. in Marfa, because you know, uh, when we went, uh, when was that, uh, last week, to, uh, what's the name of that building, the, for the, the uh, uh, for the raffle. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, like the planet. To the planet. Mm -hmm. I, I said, uh, I look at, and I said, where I am? I said, I thought I was in Spain. <laughs> and after I said, oh, no, no, maybe I am in Mexico. And uh, Jose told me, no, 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 you are in the USA. You are in, uh, in Marfa. But we are surrounded yes. by people speaking a different language. And, and they are as good people as you are. Mm -hmm. you know, it's very important. Okay, now, the commitment which derives from the mission, because I explained, we cannot all of us fulfill the mission. Some people have special skills mm -hmm. to, uh, to do it. So the commitment of the church is to support missionary work in the United States and, oh, I don't know where, in Mexico. Okay? That's what is very, very important. Amen. Now, uh, I am almost at the end. Okay, now, in the website, you have media available, and you could find all old messages, video or audio, and the slideshow. And uh, for example, there I, I made a, an example. I wanted to get not the whole list of the message. I wanted to get the one dealing with attitude. Mm. Okay, so I enter in the search engine attitude, and five message, uh, four messages. Mm. Came up. Mm. Okay. And so, if I was, if I had been missing one of them, I could click 
and watch it, it will come on YouTube. And so you don't miss anything if by any reason you cannot uh, come to the church. Okay? Uh, now, the next slide, that's very important. Visit regularly the church website and the Facebook fan page. It's very important. And tell your friend about it. Because sometimes, you know, you will be shy to talk about the church you attend or, or you don't know how to explain the church. So it's very simple. What you do? Oh, the church has a website. Okay, where you could find all kinds of information in English, in English, and in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have two versions of the website, on the same website. You just have to click English or uh, Spanish. Now, Spanish is just at its beginning. There is very little on Spanish. But soon, we will add more information on the Spanish. So, we will try to show you a little bit of what this uh, website is all about. It will come when the technology will uh, bring it. So, why you have to look at the website often? Uh, because it's a living matter, the website. It's living. Every week or every once in a while, what we do, we add information to it. Okay? Now, on that website, if you want to know the, the verse of the day, go to the website every day, and we have a verse of the day. Okay? Even in your old age, as old, oh, yeah. and, and even to yeah. gray hair, that's <laughs> I will carry you. I have made and will bear even, I will carry and will deliver you from Isaiah 46. Okay, yeah. now, tomorrow, it will be a new verse. Yeah. Okay. So, get inspired every day. Yeah. Go to the website and read the verse. Now, I want to know uh, what was the last teaching. So, I click uh, last teaching, and you have that teaching, and you could play it. Okay? Uh, the one of today, in a couple of hours, will replace that one. Yeah. Now, we also have uh, news, which are from uh, Twitter, which will uh, mention to you if the church has event, for example, a fellowship, or uh, the, the church is closed because uh, they are repaving the road, or something. So, you could keep track of what's going on in the church from uh, there, okay? If you don't, if your friend asks you, who are your pastor? Okay, we have a section, meet your pastor, mm -hmm. and they will tell you who this pastor are. Uh, we, we put good things so far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we have also a number of resource, resources. Okay, you, you could get the service time and everything, so people will know, we don't have to explain to them. Okay, now, recommended resource. Uh, okay, for example, you will look for uh, Oh, let's, let's say uh, big. We make a search for big. Yeah. I guess Pam will search for I can't do that Oh, you can't oh, do that okay. okay, anyway. Uh, I, I, I hope you could do it. We have also what they call the harmony of the gospel. You know, you have the four gospel and how the verse are the same, to, uh, the number of the verse to describe the same event. It's called the harmony of the gospel. Mm -hmm. So you could see that uh, um, what you see in, in, uh, in John, you will see it in uh, Matthew, or etc. Yes. Okay? What we have also, we have some maps. Well, if you want to know where Paul was going, mm -hmm. you know, we read in, uh, in the epistle where Paul is going, and you, you said, oh, where, where is that? He went to that city, I cannot pronounce the name. He's in mm -hmm. Ephesus today. Where is Ephesus? Mm -hmm. So, we, you have maps. Okay? Uh, if you want to tell your friend uh, about the church, you could print posters. You know, it's a it's poster of the church with the address of the church and where it's located. Okay? 
what you could do also if you don't attend the prayer meeting on Tuesday. Wednesday. Yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday night. Okay? You could read the prayer manual. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Okay? Amen. And pretty soon, we will add regularly uh, the, like you call that a flyer, a booklet, uh, mm -hmm. whatever, for the Bible study. Mm -hmm. So you will get the Bible study the with all the verses, with everything, and every week they will, they will be there. Now, I don't know who you are uh, using. Oh, I have five minutes. Okay. No, three. three minutes. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew. I was ready for it. Uh, <laughs> from you. Who is checking the Facebook page regularly of the church? Only one? Okay. Go to the Facebook page every day. And I tell you why. Because your pastors. They take the time to put what they call Bible nugget or Bible uh, scripture break. Uh, scripture uh, break. Scripture yeah, break. Scripture break. <laughs> and it's a lot of scripture for a, spe a topic, a specific topic. It's very well done, and I strongly recommend it. So go every day for the website for your verse of the day, and go to Facebook for this scripture break. Now. I just announced that very soon, God willing and my wife willing, you know, that's difficult to make the two together. God willing and my wife willing, we will have this scripture uh, nugget, whatever. Scripture break? A scripture break. And you will be able to search them from the website by content. For example, if you, when you have uh, enough of them, and you said, I would like to know what this uh, scripture say about fear. Mm -hmm. In the search engine, you enter fear. You click on it, and you will be all the instances where fear was discussed. Mm -hmm. So you know, this website yeah. is very rich. So, yes, it is. so the church is very rich, but it's an extension of the church. Yeah. And uh, if you see something like that, click share, and it will go to all your friends. So it's a, it's a way to evangelize. You click share, it goes to all the list of your friends. And now your friend may share it also, you know, some of them. And suddenly, by having clicked one share, in a matter of a day, you have reached 500 people, yeah. or even more. Yeah. And so now I am stopping. I thank you all. <laughs> we have a wonderful day. And again, I, I would like to thank the pastor, pastors, Jose and Patricia, who had uh, the courage to invite me, not knowing what I was going to say. Now, in conclusion, a church alive is worth the drive. And so, if you are in the Big Ben area, come here. It's better than watching on the, on the streaming on the internet. Okay? See you next time. <laughs>